Well, why are not connecting? It's not that we're not marketing to Hispanics correctly, but there is still these misconceptions. And we're gonna talk briefly about all of them. And we're gonna see some examples. Like the first thing they think when they, okay, let's, let's, uh, let's target the first generation Hispanic, they think language. And the first thing they do is, okay, let's put it uh, in Spanish. But sometimes, even big brands have this problem that they just translate whatever they have in their website to Spanish. Now, for those of you, um, if this is a big brand. If you go and are looking for um, Terno de Baño, you're never gonna f try to look for Nadar, right? So in these cases, and they are using that in their website. So they just did a translation I don't know, maybe Google Translate or something, because no, uh, no professional advert, uh, uh, professional in advertising from in Spanish is going to tell them no. Right there is going to tell them no. That's not correct. That's not how we speak. That's not how you're going to look for. It. That's not how people are going to search for your product. But this is the easy case. Now then, uh, they they said, okay, let's do it in English then. In English, let's go to bilingual. But then they, they forget a little bit of cultural competency. It's not about the language, it's about the culture. And sometimes they come up with things like really offense and uh, uh, they just, instead of connecting, they disconnect completely. And then I'm not talking about creative. We are not, a, that's not a specialty. Our specialty is optimizing the, 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 the campaigns. But uh, also, I'm talking about the, the money they have to spend once they create a campaign, once they launch the campaign, they buy a lot of media, and then everything backfires. So what they have to do, they have to apologize, they have to take down all the ads, they have to put down their websites and that. So some examples, and big brands still have something um, like this. something is not right there. And sometimes they don't have, I, I don't know, they have somebody that can tell them directly because anyone who sees that is Hispanic is gonna tell them it's not gonna work. And I'm not talking about the, 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 um, the that not only that it's very offensive, but the problem is that they have to apologize, they have to press releases, they have to get other companies to help them with the PR. So they spend a lot of money, why? Because there was no cultural competency from the beginning. And again, we're not talking about creative here. Now, then also there are other ones like, uh, finally, a Colatina. Maybe the, uh, the idea was because it was for the bilingual, um, bilingual Hispanic male that uh, they think tell a Latina she's had because in English telling somebody's had is not the same to tell a Latina es caliente. So they, somebody, again, they will tell them directly, no, that's not good. If you tell that to my, my sister, you're, you're dead, or something like that. Yeah. So, and you're talking about big brands, and again, the money you spend is like Then you also have uh, other problems that, okay, let's, let's try to be bilingual, let's try to connect with the people, and they take com uh, completely uh, uh, campaigns that were run in English. Have you heard of the drinkability, the drinkability campaign? Yeah. But then they, think it's okay, let's put it in Spanish, and let's make up a, a word that is gonna resonate the same thing. And they come up with uh, la diferencia es tomabilidad. Again, it doesn't say anything, it really doesn't mean anything. It doesn't do, it doesn't make the effect that they want it to. But then also, one of the big problems also right now with, with the social media campaigns is that they, okay, they did this. The problem I see with the, with, the, with the ad is that people were talking bad things about this ad like for one year. 
they created groups, they created Facebook things, they created social media groups, uh, websites, and the company didn't realize until it was late. If they are targeting a, a company, if they are targeting, I mean, a, a group, they will have to be monitoring every day. As you know, anything that you do is gonna be online, and if, you, if you're not proactive, if, you, if you're not actively engaged on monitoring what people are talking about you or your brand, it's not gonna look good. So this, again, same, same uh, process, apologies, uh, politicians come, and, and PR, and all that. So we're talking about companies that they have money, and they could have some cultural comp competency. So if we're trying to do anything in any industry, we need to be very, very cultural sensitive or to the people that we want to connect. So um, that was the common mistakes. And then people ask, okay, uh, we tried the Hispanic market and it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It, it's not a good profitable market. Of course it's not profitable because also not only you're not, you're not connecting correctly, but you're not measuring, you're not doing what um, Joaquin is gonna say. So here we are, you know, we, you launch a major campaign, you make a, an investment of money and then you say, well, it's not working. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not getting my return on my investment. Uh, and, uh, and the thing is, what are you going to do about it? So, the question is, are you happy with the ROI? Now, some companies may be happy, and many other companies say, uh, no, we're not. Uh, today, some, there were some comments about, you know, the value of Facebook advertising, and that some things really are, um, you know, hyped up, uh, and so forth. But still, there's a lot of, uh, the, you're still are talking about a substantial number of, uh, of travelers, or 60 million uh, you know, Hispanics, so you don't want to just turn around just and just leave. So uh, the important thing is to control, to monitor. So here, for example, you have a case where, you know, uh, a company made a campaign, it had uh, close to 1,300 pages on their website, they had 50,000 impressions, uh, uh, you know, and they thought they were happy, but they only had 700 clicks. So obviously, there was a, a major difference between the, the hype and their enthusiasm, and the people were really, uh, you know, enticed, and then they were not really excited about going in and actually, you know, looking into the to the product. So, this is what happens when you put a lot of effort and then you don't really look and see, you know. Now it could be that you do this once and then you do uh, an, an, an analytical analysis, you find out that something's not working, and then you go back and you uh, change and modify it, and that's part of this whole uh, process. Uh, like in this case, for example, you know, uh, the numbers look good, but when you look at one specific number called the, the bounce rate, you saw that the people obviously did not, once they went in there, they just decided to, to leave. So uh, by looking at and studying the results of what you do in your campaigns or your website, then you really can modify and strategize uh, a lot better. Um, this is another aspect that happens a lot in, 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 uh, in marketing or, or when we do uh, AdWords or whatever. Here you have, and we brought it out the name of the company to avoid any sensitivities. But somebody uh, paid to be able to, be, to appear up there in Google uh, with Buenos Barranquilla, okay? So they were there, they, 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 they paid the spot, they paid the money, uh, they were addressing in Spanish, so you kind of tell the audience, okay, here it is, I'm gonna get information about what's going on here. They click in there, and what do you get? You get an English-speaking, all English-speaking website, okay? So again, why get into it if you're not going to complete the process, all right? So, and this we, we see continuously, and again, it's not a matter of just trying to buy the business, you have to be you know, consistent, and across the board you have to uh, target, and you have to talk to the audience in, in the language. So, what needs to be done? That's the question we, you know, we want to, you know, we ask, we post to everybody. Well, you have to create culturally relevant content, as Marcelo said. You have to think digital and act uh, social, and by actually implementing it, you will be able then to be successful. So, create culturally relevant content. Uh, think digital, act social, 
but how? How do we start? How do we get to this? And that's, uh, that's we're going to just show you uh, very quickly about our process. Like, before it was really difficult to try to, uh, it was a big matrix of, of how to reach Hispanics. You have acculturation level, you have a language of preference, you have uh, how many years they were here, and many other variables. I mean, it got really, really complicated. But then you have something where they are telling you what they need, and that's the internet. How many of you put what you need on the search engines? Everyone. Anything you need, you want vuelos a Ecuador. That's my country. So you say vuelos a Ecuador, and then that search is a store. Somebody else comes and said vuelos a Quito. That search is a store. Anything that we are searching is being stored somewhere. So it wouldn't be better instead of trying to break your head, like how do we reach to the, to the market? What do they want? It's easier to go and, uh, and see what they're looking for. If you know what they're looking for, if they are telling you that they want to fly to Ecuador in November, you need to create content and your creative and everything that says that you have uh, October specials from flying to Ecuador. It's some, sometimes it's really easy to get what people are, are want and to create a content layer. That's a shift of paradigm of before that you create something and try to push it, but now people are telling you what they are doing or what they need or what they want. Mm. So instead of creating your first, you research first, see the need, and then create the product. Not the product, but the, the way to connect to the, to, the, to the consumer. Now, the process that we do, um, that where we put a lot of effort is on the planning, strategy, market research, keyword research, competitive intelligence, and digital audit. Why? Because here is the problem. Here is the mean. Here is it where we, we want to know what is it being searched when we want to promote a service? This is, uh, once you have that, you have to choose your competitors. You have to later on see where is your best market to put your money though. Because a lot of, co uh, a lot of companies, what they, what they do is that they see a big market and they just enter the market. They don't think about the competitors. Sometimes they just uh, go and start bidding with other companies that are bidding a lot, a lot of money, and they don't and and they don't strategize. So, uh, how do you find out where the market is? Well, again, anything that you're searching is being stored, and Google provides you with that information. And uh, before doing that, anything we want to do, we want to know if there is a market for that. So in this case, this is a very interesting case in Hispanic marketing because if uh, you're doing uh, tickets, in English wouldn't be a lot, of, uh, a lot of ideas. There is tickets, it's tickets. But in Spanish, depending upon where they're coming from, you're going to find like different segments. Boletos, billetes, eh, pasajes. In my country, it's pasajes. I, I, I think it's billetes. And then you have uh, boletos. Now. To the internet, that would be like three different segments. But for you, it's the same. How difficult would it be for you to create three different uh, sub-segments of saying that you have boletos a Ecuador, billetes Ecuador, and, and uh, pasajes Ecuador. You, it's digital. You don't need to invest a lot of money. You know what they want, you give them what they want, and create mini sites. At the end of the day, they're going to buy from, from, from you either way. So first thing we see there, if there is, a, there, is a, there is a market. Now, another thing that is very interesting is that a lot of people said, no, why would you go through the, to the Hispanic market in the US? Nobody speaks Spanish in the US. So why would you, why would you go for the travel? Now, this is the, this is the reality. People are looking for more and more in Spanish. These statistics are not taken into consideration uh, Mexico or uh, Argentina or uh, Spain. It's all the searches done in the US about pasajes, billetes, boletos. That tells you a lot that yes, people are searching more and in every industry we've seen, in health, in travel and everything, is the same trend. People are going more and more. And, the, and uh, the other, uh, in the previous slides, 
um, Joaquin talk about the, the growth and the potential to grow, still there it is. Now, another reason, uh, another reason is that you have, you have the data. Now, there is a market, yes there is a market. Now, I wanna see more. In this case, uh, we're, we're starting a campaign very, like two days ago, about, uh, about a company that was gonna sell uh, tours to New York, but in Spanish. A lot of people were telling them, you're crazy. Why are you gonna do it in Spanish in, in New York? Well, this is why. This is the, the searches that we mostly coming from Spain, Mexico, Argentina, and the United States. So there is a market, yes there is a market. About what? About tours and travel to New York in Spanish. And this is, being, um, this is not being pursued by a lot of companies. And when you look at the numbers, also they are telling you what else they need. They, they need oferta, they need hoteles, they need viajes, they need ofertas in Nueva York, viajes in Nueva York. Everything here is all about that product. And these are all the categories, all the content that you need to create in order to entice that market. Now, the interesting fact here is that all these keywords, all these phrases are not being pursued online. So the competition is very low, the pay-per-click is lower, but at the end of the day, the tours are gonna be the same. If you do it in English or in Spanish, the cost is gonna be the same, but the cost to acquire that customer 